How can a country have nuclear weapons? What's the process? And how did a country like Pakistan manage to get nukes? Good question. So first of all, in order to get nuclear weapons, a country needs access to resources such as raw materials like uranium ore or thorium, which can be converted into uh, weapons grade uh, fissile material. So uranium is the most uh, common mater raw material that you get. Naturally occurring uranium is uranium-238. It's 99% plus uranium-238. But the weapons, the fissile, the material that is used in weapons is uranium-235, which is about 0.7% of what occurs naturally. So uranium ore has to be purified and upgraded until it becomes weapons grade uranium, which means it's about 80% plus uranium-235. So first of all, a nation needs access to the raw material. Then it needs the ability to refine uranium and turn it into weapons grade uranium. And so that is a complicated uh, technological process. So you need to develop the technology to do it, which is quite hard, right? You need to, there are a number of ways in which you can purify uranium. There are centrifuges and other methods too. So that's a, that's a big hurdle that one has to cross. One needs also to have most likely, I mean, it's best to have a, a civilian nuclear program with nuclear reactors. So you know how to handle these things. And that also would enable you to create plutonium, which is also something that is used as, a wep as in nuclear weapons. It's another fissile material. It's a, uh, another fissile element. So you need to be able to obtain either weapons grade uranium 235 or plutonium. Then you need to be able to shape that. You need the you need to know the technical know-how of how to assemble a nuclear weapon, a nuclear bomb, right? So that's actually pretty simple. The nuclear physics is, is very simple actually. But the engineering behind it is the complex part, the complicated part. So you need to be able to either assemble a simple fission device or a more advanced fission fusion thermonuclear device. So this is all uh, this is all about engineering. It's about uh, acquiring and perfecting the technology to do this. And then you need to test it out because without testing, you don't know if your device works or not. And once you test it, you need delivery systems. So if you have a nuke, but you don't know how to deliver it to your enemy, right, then there's no point having a nuke. So you need either to invest in uh, various missiles, other short range or long range ballistic missiles, depending on where your adversaries are. Or you need to have another kind of delivery method, such as uh, maybe an air force or uh, aircraft that can go and uh, deploy the payload and drop the payload. So these are the things, these are the steps. This is a very simplified, streamlined overview of the steps it, uh, it takes for a country to have nuclear weapons, right? So... First of all, you need to acquire the weapon, then you need to be able to deliver it. So to acquire the nuclear weapons is the main thing. And how did a country like Pakistan manage to get nukes? Well, the Pakistanis were given the technology by the Chinese. And the delivery systems were given to the Chinese by the North Koreans, who are again, a basically uh, a proxy of the Chinese. So the Chinese uh, intend to use Pakistan as a destabilizing force over India on the western border. And that's why they have done this. That's why they have uh, proliferated the technology. In the 80s, there was some proliferation of technology from the West as well. There was a scientist called Abdul Qadir Khan who acquired blueprints of, uh, I think uh, it was uh, blueprints of uh, nuclear reactors, I believe, from the West. And that's how he was able to establish this Khan Research Laboratories in Kahuta, etc., and that has also enabled the Pakistanis to develop their nuclear program. So they have been able to develop it with the help of the West and of mainly of the Chinese. So that is the story in brief about nuclear weapons and how the Pakistanis acquired them. Even the North Koreans have to some extent been aided by the Chinese, but it kind of backfires because Mr. Kim can also aim the point those nukes at Beijing, right, in order to acquire more independence and autonomy from, from Mr. Xi. So that's how it works.